<laughs> okay, hi. Uh, as you can see, we're in a hotel room in Manchester. And why are we in Manchester, guys? PHP Northwest. PHP Northwest. Uh, I'm here with two interesting gentlemen that I know quite well, that I see occasionally. And uh, it's actually weird that we're doing this in Manchester, whereas we're from the same area, from the same community. We could have just done that at home. But here we are, interesting setting, PHP Northwest. And without any further ado, I would like to introduce these gentlemen, or at least allow them to introduce themselves. Starting with Tom. Hi, I'm Tom. I'm one of the co-founders of PHP West Flanders. That's one of the first uh, local user groups in Belgium. And next to me is I'm Joachim, uh, I'm the other co-founder of uh, PHP WVL, as we call it, yeah, WVL. Maybe you should elaborate on that. So, uh, as you know or might not know, my name is Thais, and I'm one of the founders, one of the guys on the board behind PHP Benelux. And PHP Benelux is a user group that covers the Benelux area, which is, in, in terms of the geography, not that big. It covers Belgium, the Netherlands and Luxembourg, so officially three countries. But it's not that big of an area. It used to be manageable. But then these two gentlemen uh, decided that we should go more uh, global. We should go, we should go even smaller. <laughs> we, we can go even smaller. <laughs> and that's the actual trend these days, if I'm not mistaken, that within our area and within all over Europe, I see it in the UK too, that you see regional communities, PHP communities. Why is that so, you think? Is there a the logic behind it. What was your reasoning to start PHP West Flanders? Why did you consider doing it, making a step? Well, back back in the days when PHP Benelux still did the the user group meetings in Belgium, uh, they went all over the place. So they went uh, one month someplace in Belgium, the next month someplace in the Netherlands, and we are in a far west corner of Belgium. And what was kind of boring for us is that each time we wanted to go to one of these meetups we had to drive quite a while yeah it was well, Ghent, Antwerp uh, yeah wh a while is quite relative of course but for us once you had to cross uh, if you have to drive all the way from one end of Belgium to the other way you always have some traffic hotspot like Antwerp or Brussels so that was not very handy for us so. no and for reference that distance we're talking about we're not talking about hours and hours of drive we're talking about one two hours drive max, but the traffic situation in Belgium is far from ideal, oh, yeah. so that, that caused issues. So then you decided, let's do it locally. And I remember traveling to uh, the western part of Belgium with the Peach Bibin Lux service. But the problem was that there weren't too many people then attending back in that day, mm -hmm. so we only did it annually. But now, as I see it, you have a pretty good thing going, so uh, tell us more about that. Well, one of the, one of the problems... Um, that it was annually was because it was bi-monthly in Holland and the other months in, Bel in Belgium. So um, to actually visit it, visit the uh, the meetup that was hosted in uh, West Flanders. Um, West Flanders. West um, you had, yeah. I think you had to know a bit of the crew of I don't know why people didn't show up. Yeah, I, it was like uh, we, we picked Bruges as, as our go-to city in West Flanders. Mm -hmm. There were a lot of people, but um, I don't know if, it's, if it was that familiar to other people as it was for us. Mm -hmm. uh, I've, I've been attending PHP Benelux since it was called PHP Belgium. Belgium so yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. For me it was a, was a natural thing to go to, but now I think that people are more connected to the local user group, know more people and start making friends and just attend more because it's more locally and it's not that far away. So Absolutely, because as I remember, you're the first one doing it in Belgium, but you weren't the pioneers in our community because in the Netherlands no. we had some struggles organizing the meetups. It's not actually finding the venue, finding the speakers, but actually finding the people who were willing to come to these events. They weren't able, and sometimes they had five people, six people, whereas the Belgian part of PHP Benelux always had a minimum of 20, 30, 40 people. At our top, we even had 80 people at our meetups. Mm -hmm. But it's clear now that people, or there's so much happening these days that people want to cut down on travel and just want to go 
when it's on in their town. Yeah. It makes sense. It's actually. more convenient to it's just convenient. stop work, go uh, stop working, go home, have some have some uh, dinner, and then go to uh, go to the meetup instead of. I remember if it was uh, uh, the meet, the first meetups of um, PHP and Bellelux was sometimes on the other side of Belgium, so I had to stop early from work and just yes. start driving. Uh, driving, driving, and you'd be home. At midnight, I remember we did a meetup in Hasselt, which is at the eastern part of Belgium. Yeah. And then the meetup was done at 11, and I had two and a half hours of driving. I had to wake up early, go back to work, so that wasn't really feasible. So that's the, the starting point of your community, I guess. Yeah, yeah that's why when we decided decide to, to yeah. maybe maybe we should try to organize something more local, because, well, we cannot expect to have PHP Benelux pay special attention to us, because we want to have more meetups because you guys are busy with other stuff and there are plenty of more people who yes. probably want a meetup close by their side. Exactly. So that's why this, we decided that maybe we should try organize it by ourselves. And that's what we did and... The first, the first time the first time it was the same uh, amount of people that were at Bruce, at Bruce meetup. Yeah, not the that first much. time was very little people but then people start to start to know there's a local community and they but there, to attend more. There is a different vibe going on in PHP West Flanders than there is at PHP Benelux and I know that because I've been to both. Like at PHP Benelux we, uh, we try to speak English all the time because we cover the Benelux area mm -hmm. and there's French speaking people, you have your Dutch speaking people, even German speaking people and then you have people who just work, expats who work in the country and who would rather speak English. So in that respect, whenever there's someone in the room who does not speak Dutch, we immediately switch to English. Given the fact that you are bound around West Flanders and everyone speaks the same language and even the same dialect, it's easier and it's like a very cozy feeling, if I can say so. Yeah, it's one of, it's one of our things. We, I don't think we've ever hosted a meetup that was in English. We've probably been only had a few foreign speakers and foreign that people not from our local user group so they talk Dutch so we understand them but they usually don't understand us so we but we've never switched to to English there was never a demand for it so it's all quite homey and cozy feeling for us yeah, we have a very strong accent the three of us we're like uh, we're like the hicks of Belgium right the, the peasants the farmers living in the west we're the, peasants, we're the, we're the farmers PHP armors the PHP armors so uh, and we're quite proud of that. So, uh, yeah, it's one of our things. Like we are shunned in Belgium for our dialect because we are always subtitled, and now we can do something in our own language, and we're quite proud of that. Yeah, and you should be. And the numbers are going up, based on what I see. They've been steady going up from the beginning, where we had about ten people, to now, where we have almost thirty people. So, which is a very decent number, given that there is not that much happening in West Flanders in terms of. The IT industry, it's not as big as in, let's say, Ghent, Brussels, Antwerp, Puzzled. It's going up steadily. Yeah, but we discover more companies that are doing like PHP and West Flanders that we, that we never heard of, uh, heard of. That don't come on the radar or don't have the hype around them like yeah, all the cool yeah. companies in Ghent have. And you have a lot of like small companies with two or three people that, that do PHP, but that we now are coming to the uh, meetups but that we that we do not reach out to um, or less than we want to but because you know, that, that's not the um, they won't they would they won't host nope. they, they haven't the the equipment they haven't the, uh, the location to to host a, a meetup but now yeah they are also starting to show up and uh, show up and uh, it's a nice trend to be uh, it's, it's really cool and safe to say that you're not the only ones doing it there's more yeah now and they've, cities they've been popping up now every every province in flanders at least now has its own user group let's go over them so we have php west flanders which is the west and if we move a little bit east i'm get, afraid to do to do that we'll, we'll, we'll skip <laughs> because one. I, I, I forget we'll, we'll always forget, forget one and we'll apologize <laughs> in advance sorry we might forget you so we have ghent we have ghent antwerp antwerp leuven leuven brussels brussels uh, Hustles, which is now in the process of converting to Limburg, because Hand, Antwerp, Brussels, Leuven, they're all city-based. Yep. Uh, we are, or we were, the only ones who were province-based, and now Hasselt is converting to 
a bigger area. And, and Hasselt is in, in, in terms of, of style is comparable to West Flanders, right? They're, they're a bit more rural as well. Yeah, they've all, all, always been shunned too Shunt because well. they speak slowly, as they say, but yeah, yeah. they're cool guys, so. That's how many are, how do we have? That's like six. So, West uh, Flanders, Ghent, Ghent, Leuven, Brussels, Antwerp, Limburg. Limburg. That's six already in a, a particularly small country. And those are just the, the, the general PHP meetups we have, specialized ones like the, the WordPress meetups or the Symphony, Symphony meetups. The Drupal meetups. Drupal, so these guys are also there in the same community. Elasticsearch, MongoDB, a lot, a lot of stuff. Now, personally, as an organizer of meetups, the work that these fine gentlemen do makes my life easier because I don't have to put in all the effort of organizing these local meetups, which takes some time. Oh, yeah. So I'm happy that the local communities are taking over and that we can focus on, uh, on our conference. We, we organize an annual conference in January. And that's, I wouldn't say it's easy, but we're used to that after, after six editions running into the seventh. But my question is, and I hope you can answer that question, is what would our role be as PHP Bin Lux towards the local communities? Should we be a governing body? Should we be an advising organization? Or should we just focus on organizing our conference? What do you think? What's the role of PHP Ben Lux in the future? Go ahead. I don't know. Uh, you should know. No. Well, what we personally, I don't want some organization to stand above our organization to tell us what to do or what not to do so but that's you guys plan. aren't doing that so you that's that. that's fine what i do like is that we can always come to you guys for advice uh on how to maybe approach uh potential sponsors or to find speakers or maybe venues, help help yeah. for venues stuff like that uh so definitely there's a big role for you guys in the support for local communities And the conference. I mean, the conference you guys do is great. I always enjoy going there. Thanks. I like <laughs> going there. It's great that we can take a load, uh, part of the load of organizing local meetups for you guys. So if you have the support, that would mean pretty much it for us. That would be the best part for us. Yeah, and it's something we definitely need to consider. And now that the local meetup scene is getting more and more established in Belgium and in the Netherlands, maybe it's time for us to put everyone together in one room and discuss it and see where we end up, see what the needs are, see if it's more of advice or financial support or what have you and then I think to that to figure it out. Different meetups have different needs. Like we have things now pretty much covered in terms of financial things and we're independent. We're now a, a non-profit organization. We have venues that we can choose from. We have speakers that we can find so we and do you have enough speakers and venues because this is the right time and no place. it's always difficult finding people to either sponsor a venue or to come speak at our meetups but we always manage to find something or people to to talk so that always works but i can imagine that some of the smaller local user groups may have more trouble and they could definitely uh use some support and as a disclaimer uh although it's focused around west flanderen they're very inclusive there are also speakers who aren't from the area. It is a, it's a community for that area, but not exclusively by the people in that area. So if you are like, we've seen it before, right? people from other regions, from the Leuven area, coming to speak. Oh yeah, we have some regulars, we call them the Helen Brothers. So if you guys are, are watching this, they always come, they're from the Leuven area. They go to, I think, each meetup of each user group in Belgium, or they try to. And they always come and they're from a whole different part of Belgium, so they are very much welcome yes, in our user yes. group. Uh, I like them as well, but the reason I think that they're going all over the place is because they're recruiters, right? Yeah, I know. I that know. kind <laughs> of explains it. But, but no disrespect to them, we like them, like they're, they're welcome. They can always try. <laughs> so what's on your plate these days on your calendar for PHP? PHP West Flanders, what's the next meetup? Do you, re do you have anything organized yet? Next meetup is half halfly done, so it's in uh, I think about twenty days, something like yeah, that. It's October twenty first. Yeah. We have uh, two speakers, but we don't have a venue yet. Yeah. So uh, we're working on that. <laughs> there are so my goal is then to release this soon and address the local people. If there's uh, an entrepreneur or a company 
in Belgium or anyone who wants to sponsor a venue for these fine gentlemen and their nice community, get in touch with them. How do they get in touch with you? What's the best way? Info at php-wvl.be. There you go. And that's all the time we have for today. I would like to thank you for watching and thank Tom and Joachim for spending some time with me talking about their lovely community. So uh, from Manchester, we say goodbye. We very much look forward to PHP Northwest 15 and we'll see you soon.